Hi guys, uh, my name is Ivana and this is my sister Christina and we're here, we're Martha's daughter so we're going to be in Nana's kitchen today, Nana's house and we're going to show you um, our favorite recipe for potato salad. It's a little different but everywhere I take it people love it and it actually comes from our grandma, our mom's mom. So yeah, we're excited to show you. Christina's just going to be finishing up shredding some carrot here. We got all our ingredients uh, ready to go. I'm starting off with these potatoes. It's about one 10 pound bag of potatoes. Just boil and lightly crumble, I wouldn't say mash. And then we have some crumbled hard boiled eggs here. This is about six eggs. So I'm just gonna start throwing this in. And this is, this is party size. This is to create a full aluminum tray. But you can, uh, you can cut it in half or quarter it if you want to. Okay, and then we have some chopped right here, pre-chopped. We like shredding the carrots because we don't like big chunks of carrots. Yeah, so we'll get that going. Or you can always buy the packet. Oh, shredded one. Oh, shredded, smart, smart. If you're in There's a little more fresh. Time pinch. And two <coughs> large cans of black olives. They're like, pre they don't have pits. I don't know if people buy with pits, but they're no pits. And then we have some pickles. These are chopped pickles. I think she said it was about six pickles? Four to six pickles? I think so. Yeah, you kind of learn, okay. You kind of learn what you like more, put more of it, what you like less. This is chopped celery, one whole group of stalks. So probably like four to six, six individual stocks. Get them all in there. And this is one thing that makes it unique. We actually put some noodles in there. These are like the little mini, not full on album noodles, but the macaroni salad noodles. So stick those in there. And then we'll throw the carrots in last. And was this one whole carrot? Um, one and a half. One and a half. One and a half on the carrots. All right, now the last step is just to add in some mayo. And then it's kind of based on taste on that too. So if you want it creamier, add more. If you want a little bit more dry, add less. And salt and pepper to taste. So I'm just gonna mix this up and we'll be right back to show you what it looks like. I did start mixing it with my hands, if you notice that it's taking too long with the spoon. You don't want your potatoes to get fully mashed. So don't be afraid to get in there. Just tie yourself it's cookie dough and you're gonna be all right. And then it's best served chilled. Delish. Uncle Ben Uncle with Nana's ben. Kitchen. <laughs> 